Hello again, welcome back to Asgard and welcome back to Enigmatica 2 Expert. Now I'm actually out in the wilderness. Um, you can see I am, let's see, I've been, I've been digging around looking for dragons right now. So I'm like, uh, I explored out this way, I'm using the warp book and uh, we are way over there. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty far from home right now, but I've been exploring and I actually just found something amazing. So, this is something I've been looking for since, like, day one. And I finally have found it. Um, it was in this chest here. I've already pulled it out. The Summoning Pendulum. I pulled it out because I didn't want, like, anything to possibly happen to it. But this thing is a wonderful creation. What it does is it will allow you to capture creatures. So, you can see right now it says holding five entities. If I right-click, holding one entity. It can, ex it can store up to five entities at a time. And then I can just right click to place them down. Has infinite durability. It doesn't require any kind of charging or anything like that. Um, it is the end all be all. It is like the best mob capture tool ever. It can't, you can't craft it. It can only come from chests. And so I've been looking for this thing like for a while. Finally have one. There was somebody on the server that got it day one. <laughs> it was just like man. Um, but I have I finally found myself a pendulum. Pendulum. We're at 200 Y level right now. So. So that's a thing. But yeah, I'm just kind of looking for dragons right now. I'm probably going to go underground. Like, this is an Alps biome. These these biomes are gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, actually, is a dwarf is living in an Alps biome. But <laughs> she's also having to deal with the snow, too. I kind, of, I kind of, ever since all the mods, I'm just like, I don't really want all that snow <laughs> you know because it was it was so much of a pain in that you know i kind of wish the dragons i believe you can set in the configs i know sprout had them so they were like pretty common like you you ran across dragons pretty often but on here like they're rare <laughs> they are crazy rare trying to find them it takes a bit those plants by the way that faint amaranth is an astral sorcery plant but if you break it you will get uh, glowstone so just a heads up I'm not for sure uh, we got one of these. By the way, the server, um, we actually just updated the server, which is crazy exciting. Goodbye. <laughs> Crimson Knight. I guess I'm falling too. It's just like a falling battle here. Luckily, I have nano suit boots on, so uh, it doesn't concern me so much. Um, I might actually, i tell you what I'm going to do. Well, I need to find, I need to find a snow dragon. And then what we can do is we can set up the scanner to search for, like, charred, um, there's charred stone, like we found in that fire dragon's lair. And then there's also, um, the ice one is frozen cobblestone, frozen gravel. That stuff is what we need, um, to set the scanner up for. Because I would like to find one of the underground dragon layers and there's probably one around here i mean they're just hard to find because they're underground and there's no like indication of you know whereabouts they are i've actually been heading towards a snowy forest okay i've been out exploring for a bit and i th i found a dragon i'm pretty sure looks like a dragon's layer off um i haven't went up to it yet but let's get ourselves some glass bottles actually um, right over here, I saw it on the map from a distance, right over there, on top of this mountain. And of course, this is a above ground one, but that's fine. I'm looking for any and all dragons at the moment, and this, I think, will be an ice dragon. Because it's like right here inside the snowy forest. Oh no, it's a fire dragon, because this is extreme heals. That's interesting. Well, we're going to take him out. There we go. There we go. And these ones outside here, they will fly. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> Luckily, we've got our nano suit. Oh, he's taking me into the air. Well, that's all right. Man. These ones outside are a little bit tougher, I think. Because the terrain's not really flat, and I need to make that apple. I really do. 
There we go. Okay, he is dead. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our bottles and just right-click him. There we go. And, oh, I don't get the scales, though, whenever I do that, do I? Oh, man, I forgot. <laughs> well, we got fire dragon blood. Um, dragon skull is a stage three dragon. Okay. I don't know why it doesn't give you the, uh, the scales, too, because that would just make too much sense, I think. But that's fine. Um, oh, I don't even think I want to worry about grabbing the chests, honestly. Uh, empowered Rustonia. I am taking all the Empowered stuff that I find because I can't craft it at the moment. Um, so it's it's somewhat rare to me at the moment. Pulverize. Oh, uh, uh, well, it's steel. Platinum's still rare, so I'd like to take it, I think. Iron ingots, manuscript pages. I actually don't need any more manuscript pages. Our book is completely filled out, but I am going to grab them because um, I can always share them with others, or you know, or whatever. But um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and continue exploring. I want a little bit of that dragon blood. I just don't need as much as I got. <laughs> I got a little bit too much. Um, is that hot springs? Yeah, that's hot spring water. I think this is another Alps biome here. Um, I think I want to go down and check out that snowy biome. I do think we're going to do a bit of exploration today, if you hadn't already guessed. Uh, we're going to do a bit of running around looking for dragons. This is a huge mountain. Over 200 Y level. Like, you don't normally see that. Um, it's it's definitely a tall one. Okay, so really awesome. I stopped by one of these places. These are like villager fortresses things. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but... Anyways, inside of this chest, there was an inventory upgrade cake from Cyclic. Now, we can craft this. I mean, it's not all that expensive. This is one of the things that I was meaning to craft. But, since I found one, I'll take it. So, now what we can do is we can click right here and look. We have a whole nother inventory here. And you have swap armor bars. You have swap hot bars that you can use as well. Uh, which is quite useful. It is indeed. I don't know if I just want to grab, like, all this food. Yeah, let's take it. <laughs> And it's possible that there could be dragon layers underneath us right now. Um, I think I'm going to head down and see if I can find some. And I'll bring you guys back if I uh, if I come across any. Okay, there's another dragon over here. And it's already angry. Like, it's very unhappy with me at the moment. But it's a really pretty one. And I was looking for the book. And it does have to be... A tier 4 or tier 5 dragon to get an egg and those are the dragons you know that are under under the ground that's the only place that you're gonna find um, an egg so all right so we got uh, gray dragon skills again I actually should have gathered blood off of that one instead of the one that I did gather it off of because I don't have any red scales um, at the moment but I have gray another band of mana by the way I've actually got a band of mana and a band of aura so, we're starting to build up mana for whenever we start Batania, which will be nice. Ooh, Empowered Diamantine Crystal, Estonia Block, oh, there's Californium, Intermedium Apple. I've actually got a few of those apples. I've got, like, Superium Apples and stuff. Another Californium. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Like, this isn't supposed to happen. <laughs> and it, like, cuts the menu or the, the chest into that. Yeah, if you open this one, it's it's when it bugs. This is amazing. I have never, I've actually never seen that before. Um, another band of mana. Man. <laughs> and some emerald. I guess I'll take them, whatever. I've got so many emeralds. By the way, these piles of uh, gems are craftable. Um, like the piles of gold and stuff, those are craftable for decor. I'm actually thinking about making a scanner here in a minute. Um, or a scanner module. And we're going to start scanning for dragons. But we're also going to hunt some other creatures today too. And so we might switch over and do that for a minute. And then make the scanner. Or maybe make the scanner and then and then go hunting. Oh, I actually just dropped into a uh, mob spawner room here. <laughs> I was digging down to see if I maybe I could spot like a dragon lair or something like that. And dropped into here. 
that's antidote charm. Eh. Honestly, I'll probably leave the antidote charm because I've got a I've got a couple of those. Now these right here, I've actually gotten a few of these. Uh, this will make I think number three or number four. Basically, we'll get into these later. They're amazing because you can just stick them on a machine. Uh, like a power bank or a machine that uses RF or something like that, and they will generate 128 RF per tick, like constantly, just for free, just for free. So, and there's also another slime cube, an air charm. I actually have one air charm. We'll go ahead and snag that though. I wouldn't mind having a second one. Okay, I am in a jungle right now, and I found a jungle temple. Dun, dun, dun. I also found willow wood, which is always good. Back in here, let's see what we got. We got another Ender Book. That's my third one. A Sipiri Sapling for Forestry. I know, um, uh, let's see, Rod of Elevation, Tropical Drone, Basic Plating. Uh, there's a Black Rune from Quark. Those aren't craftable, are they? No, I didn't think so. I've been picking them up whenever I find them. Um, I also want to grab, like, all this Misty Stone, to be honest, because, or Misty Stone, Moss Stone. Um, because I do have plans for that. And then back in here, of course, there's more chests. And let's see, what do we got here? A Staff of Traveling. It needs a charge. But that will still be handy. Um, another slime, chunk, uh, slime cube. Constellation Paper. Prospector. That's Avatos that we just got. Um, and then I'll take this, something wonderful. And I'm going to take these. <laughs> and, yeah, we're good. Okay, um, by the way, I'm on the server with a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people right now. But I just found a dragon. Another dragon's lair. I've kind of just been running around. I'm looking for beaches. Is what I'm looking for at the moment. Alright, do your thing, dragon. There we go. God, these guys are getting so easy. Like, they're so easy right now. Let's see what we got. A uh, bunch of flesh. We got gray scales. And manuscript pages. I'll, like I said, I'll take them in case somebody needs them. I don't need. I can't use anymore. Prudentium apple. Uh, another band of mana. So I have like four, I think, of those. There's some uh, blutonium. <laughs> That's an interesting find. Of course, from big reactors. If we find enough of that, it could give us uh, a little bit of a leg up on uh, big reactors. Empowered in Nori crystal. I'll take that. Another band of mana. So many bands of mana. Vial of Revitalization, which is pretty good. Empowered uh, in Meredic. A tiny pile of plutonium. Well, that needs to go... That needs to go into here pretty quick. I got so much radiation right now. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright. Alright, the radiation is done. And the dragon is dead. Okay. Oh, no, I'm back at it, I guess. And I died. Wow. Well, I am off on my journey. I've got nearly, well, when I started, it was almost 7,000 meters that I have to go. Um, I brought some food with me, you know, just because. Oh. But I'll be back um, whenever I find something cool or whenever I find my body. <laughs> I tell you what, though, I put, like, right here, you get to keep the stuff that's in your extended inventory. This is probably going to end up being our tool bag. Um, but the Ender Book, I put an Ender Book in there with a Warp Home. And I can add warps. So what I'm probably going to do is set a warp over there. Well, I don't have the XP, though, to warp right now. Because I lost all my XP that it built up. So, I don't know. We'll figure out something. But I was thinking, well, I want the bag. And I want to get the plutonium back to our base. Um, I probably should have just made a, uh, a suit before I left. Is what I should have done. But I didn't. So Okay, I'm on my way back to my body. I am currently 2,618 blocks but I found this big structure here. And I don't know. This is a rainforest. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can find the entrance to this place. I'm just wondering if there's anything in here 
worth snagging. I mean, I don't have any armor or any weapons for that matter. <laughs> but I think I'll be alright. I'm quick on my legs. I've just got to figure out what I'm going to do whenever I get back. Um... I hear mobs. That's for sure. Um, this is a temple. This is a temple. Um, yeah, these aren't going to have really any loot in them, sadly. Um, at least for the most part. I mean, there's going to be some redstone and stuff. And I know it's kind of dark. I don't have any torches either, so I can't really do anything about that. But um, Oh, here's the top room. Uh, this is where the treasure is. We got a Giga Pickle, Golden Apple. I'll take that. Uh, name tag, Saddles. Enchanted Book for Unstable 2, Punch 1, Elite Plating, Music Disc, a Heart Container. That's actually kind of nice. Domino Special, also kind of nice. Dungeon Seeker, Electric Motor. Okay, these do have treasure in them after all. <laughs> um, heart Container, we can eat that and it's going to give us an extra heart. So, um, and I need to actually take care of my hunger. I'll just leave that cake. Um, well, actually I'll eat it. And we're going to head back out, because that's, uh, that's the treasure room. I forget that the structures mod actually has uh, loot in them now. I do quite like this place, though. Like, it caught my attention. I was like, hey! Okay, there is our death. We are right there. Um, now, my only concern is it's still in the bag, so we're going to have to we're gonna have to deal with it. I don't know why I picked it up. I'm just thinking I could put it in the bag, because I know good and well that <laughs> I can't. But anyways, let's uh, see about our XP first. Seven levels. Great. And my actual death point is... Oh, right down there. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have to move quick about this. Let's... Uh, where are you? Aha, you know what? You can put it in here and it's not going to do anything to you. Oh, come on. <laughs> Okay, we got it back. And I got all my stuff. And the sad thing is I'd had that in here. Uh, like, I'd had it in here so I could have dropped it off while I was here and just died and accept the death. But instead I was just like, I didn't, I didn't realize, I forgot, I, didn't, I guess I didn't realize like I was like freaking out whenever I first like picked it up and put it everywhere. Like, you can hold it in here and it's fine. So, we're going to dump it right into there. And I'm going to die one more time. That's okay. I mean, I guess I, I should have just made my uh, my thing, my armor. But that's okay. Okay, everybody's like, oh my gosh, you're dying. <laughs> like, it's been... I don't I don't die very often. So, whenever I die three times in one go, like everybody's like, what's going on? Okay, but we kept everything. Because, I mean, we've got our bag of holding. This should have all that stuff in there. And then we've got, I mean, I think the only thing, I'll get that inventory. I mean, I've got the waypoint saved. Once I get the XP built up, you know, I'll snag it. That's not a problem. Um, I just got to get my, you know, my XP built back up to where it was. But, I mean, we've kept everything, which is great. Um, I think my food, my food is still over there. But that's all right. I can live without that. I mean, I can just make more, <laughs> you know. I do need to make a marker over here, though. Um, I'm going to call it you know, death point. And I can get, you know, I can go back over there. But I mean, it's, uh, is it only, yeah, 7,000? That's not too bad once I get the, I love the speed three from these domino specials. Once I get the, uh, the stuff built back up, that's not a problem. You know, let's pop back over there and get it. Um, and I think everything else we've got. Okay, after I got back home, uh, <laughs> I quickly realized that my armor was still <laughs> over there. So, I went ahead and I just mined up some blocks and teleported us back to the jungle where I, I made a mark back at that jungle that was only like, you know, 800 blocks away. So, I went ahead and I went ahead and just, uh, it took about 14 and a half levels 
but I was able to warp back to that jungle and uh, come out here to our death point to get our stuff back proper this time. I will say that uh, once I'm back at the base and I'm settled again, <laughs> um, I'm going to make a, a suit of um, uh, the biohazard stuff. Just so that doesn't happen again, we can throw it on, get the plutonium or whatever. Because plutonium, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't mind that I died um, in all actuality. Because that plutonium, I mean, it's rare. And I should have made quantum. I was just being dumb. And uh, I've got to figure out exactly where I died because I don't have a clue, actually. And my dragon skull. Alright. Anyways, there's our stuff. So, I wanted to throw down cobblestone. Okay. Yeah, I don't want all that cobblestone. So we got our armor back, and our cosmetic armor and everything uh, is back as well. So, but I am going to make a biohazard suit, because I don't want that to happen again, you know? But I, I can't pass up plutonium. Um, I was just thinking, well, for one, I was thinking the bag of holding would hold it. <laughs> and I forgot that it seeps through your bags. But uh, it does it does hold surprisingly well with this. You know, it doesn't get out of there. You still get the debuff long enough that it, it's going to kill you. Like, unless you, you know, have milk or, I don't know, something. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to do a little bit more exploration since I'm already out here now. And then I'll, I'll turn around and go back. It's really not that bad of a journey. It just takes a little while. But I should be able to actually get the XP because it only takes about, well, it'll probably take about 15 levels from here, I'd say, uh, to get back. But, anyways, I'll be back if I find something interesting. Okay, I just found a desert temple. Um, I figure we'll check this out. Of course, this is vanilla, but so is the uh, jungle temple as well, though, so. That's okay. It's kind of an exploration episode. I mean, I don't know, because we're like hunting dragons now, so. Naturally, we should have a nice little uh, exploration episode. Alright, I'm going to come up underneath this. There we go. And lots of TNT. <laughs> Alright, so what did we get? Oh. Impossibly hard wheat sticks. Which I don't really care about. Uh, dynamite. That's actually kind of fun to play with. So we're going to take that. And these we're going to take. Desert Acacia will take that. Unremarkable capacitor. I've got some emeralds in here, so I might as well take those. Um, in this one, we have more emeralds and an ender sword. Oh, over here. I don't even know if I want these things. <laughs> I'll take it, sure. Um, and then over here, we've got domino specials and another ender sword. What do you know? <laughs> I actually don't think I need all these. Oh, can I do it? I can't do anything with them. Okay, I'm just going to dump it. Okay, so not all that great. It wasn't a great desert temple, but uh, that's okay. I'm actually kind of running around in this desert. I'm actually looking for death worms right now. Uh, to see if we can find some. Because I looked at the desert near spawn. I couldn't find any. I didn't have any luck there anyways. This desert's a bit bigger, so. Okay, I see two death worms and one is big. It could be the legendary one uh, right there. So I've got to wait for... There we go. At least I, yeah, that one, that one is a big one. It's a big one. Oh my gosh, they're so hard to hit. There we go. That's how to do it. Get them in uh, quicksand. Okay. Oh, I hate quicksand so much. And my inventory is, my inventory is shot. So, one second. Let me, I killed another dragon, by the way. Um, there we go. Oh, really? Oh, another one? Really? I like this desert. I like this desert a lot. Okay, I do need to, because uh, there's one other thing that I'm looking for here. Yeah, see, I'm getting tan and white. And I think over here is just rotten flesh, right? Or is there stuff over here? Oh, the quicksand is nice for killing the worms, but it's not nice for the part after killing the worms. Uh, oh, yes! Giant death worm egg. Okay, that's what I was looking for. That is what I am looking for. That is great. Okay, that means we can get ourselves a baby death worm. But we got a giant death worm egg. 
which is a little bit different. <laughs> it's a little bit different as far as what comes out of it. We'll, we'll, we'll hatch it lighter. Not, probably not this episode, but we will hatch that lighter. It's one of the things that I was looking for. But I want to make sure and put it in the right place, like a good place that I, I'll be happy with. So, Anyways, I'm going to continue running about, and I will be back here in just a bit. Okay, really quick, I was over here and I found this nest and there's no dragon in it, right? There wasn't a dragon when I got here and it was just basically free loot. And I've been going through here and guess what I just found uh, in this one? Ring of Magnetization. <laughs> we are definitely going to take it. That's one of the things that I've been looking for specifically um, as far as the loot goes. One of the few things that I've actually been looking for. Um, though I will take... <laughs> You know, naturally, I'm going to take a lot of these things, but uh, that was one of the big things that I was looking for. It was like that and a pendulum, which earlier I actually found a second pendulum um, as well. So I've got two of those things, <laughs> which I will definitely take advantage of. I've got one on me. I've got one back at the base right now, but still very, very useful. What is with all this Batania stuff in here? So, and I'm keeping an eye out for plutonium. <laughs> I'm not going to grab it again, I promise. Okay, let's go ahead and craft a couple things that we need. Uh, first off, I've got my scanner in here. I was getting it charged, and I might as well go ahead and toss that in there or something, get it charging up. And I want to make... Uh, okay, yeah, I've got rubber in here. Um, I want to make a set of the IC2... Um, oh, yeah, I need black dye for that, don't I? Um, I want to make a set of the IC2, the hazmat stuff, because that way I can, I can move plutonium if I find it again. Now, the nice thing is I can just store the hazmat suit... Like right in here and then just swap, you know, swap armor and put the plutonium into that slot because then it doesn't affect me through the bags, right? And then I can get it back to the base very, very easily. <laughs> It'll definitely help us out so that I don't, uh, I don't dark die again. So if we put, uh, we'll just put this stuff into there and then I need the rubber boots, which I just need some black dye for. And luckily we have our ring of magnetization now. So <laughs> we just get our stuff like pulled in. Okay, so squid is down. Let me go ahead and just warp back home. And I'm keeping my ender book up there unless I'm warping because that way I don't, uh, you know, if I was to die or something, I've got that. And then I can periodically make warp points as I explore, uh, which will definitely come in handy. Okay, so let's get our rubber boots now. There they go. And there's that. And this is going to give us full immunity whenever we're handling irradiated stuff. So for example, if I come over here and I just hit right here to swap armor, it'll dump the armor over here and then I can grab our plutonium out and look at that. No irradiation. And then what I can do, you know, is I can take it, I can drop it into here and then swap armor and there we go. Of course I do have this equipped, but yeah, and that way I can get the plutonium out of the chest. I can bring it back here, and then, you know, I can just swap the armor back over and dump it. Uh, oh, <laughs> I got to pull it out of here first, but then I can dump it into there. And that way I don't have to worry about that, because plutonium is a really valuable resource. It's not something I want to leave behind. But I also don't want to die every time that I go to get it. I should have made... The hazmat suit should have been the first thing that I made, because I knew... That that plutonium was out there. I derped. It's my fault. I own that death. <laughs> and it won't happen again, I promise. So, um, Also, if you want to see what the armor looks like. There we go. That is our hazmat suit armor. Which I think actually looks pretty good. I like the IC2 armor, personally. Um, I do think it looks pretty cool. But Back to nano suit. And then the last thing that I want to make right now just to help us out a ton when we're looking for dragon caves underground. Because I did hunt dragons. I've actually found scales for all four of the different fire dragons. I still have yet to ever find an ice dragon. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I think they do exist on here, but I'm having a lot of issues finding them. But I want to make a couple of these block scanner modules. You know, I mentioned these a while back that we were going to use the scanner mod. And now's the time. Now's the time that we actually start using the scanner mod. And so what we're going to do... Let me actually, I'm not 100% sure if I want a range upgrade or not, because I can't remember the exact range of the scanner by default. 
Uh, so one second. Okay, the base range uh, for the block module, it's different uh, depending on the module that you're using, but the base range for the block module, it's all listed in the configs, and it would come out to be 64. So I'm not going to worry about upgrading range necessarily because uh, I think that's going to be good for most of our uses. Uh, the range module, like a single range module, would boost it to about uh, 96 blocks. Um, but if I did that, it would increase the energy cost by, where's the range upgrade? 100. So it would be 100 additional energy uh, if I did that. And I'm already using 150 energy per scan. So I think I'd rather go for, actually I'm going to make one because I'm still going to have like 100 uses with it, which I think is reasonable. Um, so I am going to make it because that way, you know, it's going to check a little bit further. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to shift right click and just place our modules into the active module section. You could also put some here in inactive. Basically, that's just module storage. So, And then if we hit right click, we'll do our first scan or charge it up first. Just hold it and it's going to scan the area. Now, right now, I have not added anything into this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, like charred stone. And I would like to get like the frozen you know, cobblestone and stuff, but I haven't found any yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our block module and we're just going to shift right click on there and you can see it's configured block is charred stone. And we're just going to put that back in there and then let's scan again. I don't think I'm going to find anything here. See, it found that one. I um, mean, it lights up blue, but it hasn't found anything else. And we're just going to put that away and then I can run around in areas. Yeah, I've used 500, R or 500 energy so far. Um, I can run around inside of areas and scan for, you know, underground dragon dens with that. So I'll be back here in a little bit whenever I find something. Okay, I found something. That did not take very long at all. So watch this. If I charge this up, give it a second, look at that. There is a big source of charred cobble down underground. It looks like it's right underneath this pit here. <laughs> It does, it does appear so. Let me scan again here. Yeah, it's down underneath the ground here. Which is, <laughs> is very, very interesting. Okay, let's head off over here. And these are basically just like big mazes. Yep, charred cobble right there. Alright, let me... Put a torch up here. And of course this means that there's a dragon down inside of here. Oh, yeah, I'm right above it right now. <laughs> I don't want to fall straight down in there, personally. Um, and I guess I should turn on my night vision. And of course we're doing this so that we can find eggs. Because it's got to be an underground layer, right, to find eggs. So, chances are the first egg we're going to find is going to be a fire dragon. I would like to get a few of them, personally, so that we can start breeding dragons. And... Because the the caves aren't too bad to find with the scanner mod. Looks like it's another great one. Oh, there's a lava pit right there. Alright, let's kick on our night vision. Oh, remove that. Alright, look at all those chests. <laughs> it's like loaded with loot. Okay, I think I'm good to go. I think I've got everything that I need. So, let's go wake up the beast. I wish I had my revolver right now. Like, hurrah, for Pirate Cove! And just, like, charge in. Now, there's a chance the dragon might actually destroy some of these, uh... Oh, and there's lava right there, which is going to give me blindness. If I'm not careful, if I look directly at it, the night vision uh, will backfire on me. All right, I'm actually taking a absolute ton of damage right now. I'm gonna oh my gosh oh my gosh all right I'm gonna head into the wall here. <laughs> I'm taking a little bit more damage this time around than uh, the last dragon fight that we did. All right. 
Nope, don't want that actually. There we go. Okay, she can't find me back in here. Oh yeah, I'm getting like loot <laughs> stuff from the uh, from the chest that she's destroying. See? Alright, let's go dump all that in there. Okay, I should be good for round two now. And Oh, this might actually work. No, not so much. Oh my gosh. Stuff it. Come over here. Alright. Back on. I'm pretty sure this is a tier 5 as well, though. Uh, by the way. Oh, this dragon has so much health. There we go. And there was a skeleton. I thought there was a skeleton. It might be dead. Okay. So she is down. Let's go ahead and loot her corpse. stuff in my hands. Oh, seriously? No egg again? Am I legitimately that unlucky? Oh my gosh. Look at the damage to my nano suit. Like how much energy that fighting her took. <laughs> Thing is, those tier 5 dragons, they do do a lot of damage. Uh, they're extremely dangerous. <laughs> Found another band of aura. That's useful. Um, I'll take that, that. Okay, so at least now we know that we can easily run around, we can find dragons fairly easily. <laughs> I still have to find some frozen stone um, so that I can scan for frost dragons. I am going to try to do that between episodes. Uh, next episode, we are either going to be, the next three projects that we're going to be working towards, we're either going to continue on with some IC2 stuff, because of course we are still working on that, um, or we might work on the mob farm area. So we can actually get mob farms up and running. Or we might get into actually breeding some of these creatures and taming some of these creatures. Um, because I would like to upgrade from the boat to something better. I would like to get flight in the form of a big animal. <laughs> I would like to get dragons. Um, but we're going to get the dragon roost thing up and going. And then here soon we'll put down our giant death worm egg. And hopefully we'll get a dragon egg so we can actually start getting into dragons. Uh, that's something I really like to do. I guess my two major mods that we're going to be working on is IC2 and Ice and Fire for a little while. And then before long, we'll move into a little bit of immersive engineering and some other stuff. But I want to try to focus on those two mods before things get insane with just OP mods. Um, so anyways, that's the plan. It'll be one of those three projects that we'll be working on next episode. But we'll see. We shall see. Because I've got to get... Um, I see two. I don't really have to build out an area, but the other two have to build out an area. I will say that probably tomorrow, I'm going to say that there may not be an episode because I need to spend some time building and the videos have actually, when they release, have started getting caught up with when I'm recording. Um, so I'm actually recording the night, the night and day before uh, this video is coming out. So they're definitely catching up on me. So I want to spend some time building so there may not be an episode tomorrow, but then it'll resume the following day. So... Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. Stay updated with when new videos come out. I know it's something different. It's not, you know, it's, it wasn't progression. We were just out hunting big things now, uh, which was exciting, I think. I had a lot of fun with it, even though, <laughs> even though I derped and lost like an hour. Um, that's okay. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope to see you guys next time. I think I'll probably have some pretty nice building work done for you guys by next episode. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, I'll see you guys next time.